Esther is a person that designs, develops, and maintains a website. Number four, a bus. A bus is an electronic pathway. Uh. Pathway, person or thing, which carries or that carries signals between computer devices. Number five, here's the DVD. DVD, person or thing? Obviously, which you let me. Last night I met someone, someone, a person, who works for our GM as a software engineer. So this is how we use the relative pronouns, which or who. And this is also how we use that to refer to a person or a thing. Excellent, next exercise. This exercise, we're doing a little bit of reading. How memory is measured. How memory is measured. Read the text and then answer these questions. Question number one. How many digits does a binary system use? Question number two. What is a bit? Question number three. What is a collection of eight bits called? Eight. Question number four. What does ASCII stand for? And question number five, what is the purpose of ASCII? Okay, let's read the paragraph. Actually, more than one paragraph. Bits and bytes. Computers do all calculations using a code made of just two numbers. Zero and one. This system is called binary code. The electronic circuits in a digital computer detect the difference between two states on the current passes through or off the current doesn't pass through and represent these states as one or zero each one or zero is called a binary digit or bit binary digit bit bits are grouped into eight digit codes that typically represent characters letters numbers and symbols eight bits together are called a byte thus each character on a keyboard has its own arrangement of 
8 bits. For example, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 for the letter A. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 for B. And 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 for C. Okay. Computers use a standard code for the binary representation of characters. This is the American Standard Code for Information Interchange, or A S C I I. Pronounce ASCII, ASCII. In order to avoid complex calculations of bytes, we use bigger units, such as kilobytes, megabytes, and gigabytes. We use these units to describe the RAM memory, the storage capacity of disks, and the size of a program or a document, the size of a document. Note, bit is pronounced bit. Byte is pronounced byte. All right, let's review. This is an example of a byte. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bits. The bits in this byte are zero one zero 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 one one. Let's look at the unit of memory, the abbreviation, and the exact memory amount. So A binary digit is a bit, or lowercase b. For example, the exact memory, it's one or zero. Only ones and zeros. A byte, capital B, it's eight of those bits. So when you have 8 bits, you create one byte. Then we get bigger, bigger, and we put a name on them so we don't have to do only with the little ones, the 8 bits or one bit. So we created kilobytes. The kilobytes, or KB, or just K, are actually 1,024 of these bytes. A megabyte, or capital M, B, is the same. 1,024 of those kilobytes. And then we get bigger, bigger. We're going bigger and bigger. A gigabyte, it's the same, 1,024 of those megabytes. We're getting bigger and bigger. And now we have some computers with terabytes, which is 1,024 gigabytes. Easy, right? Now let's answer the questions right here. Let's go and answer the questions in section A of the reading. How many digits 
Does a binary system use How many digits does a binary system use? A binary system uses two digits, one and zeros. So we got the answer right here. Two numbers, two digits. What is a bit? What is a bit? A bit is a binary digit, a one or a zero. The binary digits represent either off or on. The current passes or the current doesn't pass. A binary digit, that is exactly a bit. And number three, what is a collection of eight bits called? Eight bits, a byte. Eight bits together are called a byte. What does ASCII stand for? American Standard Code for Information Interchange. American Standard Code Information Interchange. And what is the purpose of American Standard Code Information Interchange. Well, the purpose is to avoid complex calculations of the bits and the bytes. So, we created the kilobytes, the megabytes, and the gigabytes. That's the American Standard Code Information Interchange. Oh, I guess if you're a IT worker, IT employee, if you're in the field of IT, in the industry of IT, information, technology, computers, you better learn English since we use the American Standard Code. Crazy, huh? So I hope you're paying attention to your course. Complete these descriptions with the correct unit of memory. One trillion bytes. One trillion. One. Two, three, one million, one thousand, one billion. Easy. Thousand kilobyte, right? Kilo. If you speak Spanish, you probably know kilos a thousand grams. So there you go. Uh, then we go to the uh, million. 
मेगा